Welcome guys. I want to give a quick little short tutorial on the straddle handstand or tips for how to get into the straddle handstand. Um, and when I'm teaching straddle handstand in class or I offer a straddle handstand in class, I see a lot of times people just kind of set up for it a little bit wrong or there's little minor adjustments that help people kind of take it from, not, from getting their feet up but not getting all the way up to getting up towards the straddle handstand. Now holding the straddle handstand would be take a whole different video. This one I just want to show up on the setup and a few techniques for how to get the legs up to make it a little bit easier on you. But what I see a lot of times is people come in, they're coming in a lot of times from a prostrate apatitanasana, so it's a wide-legged forward fold. So they come in here, plant their hands, and then they just come in and they kick up trying to get into their handstand. The problem with this is if you have a straddle handstand already, this feet this wide is fine. You already know the mechanics if you got to get your pelvis over your feet, over your shoulders. Um, but starting out this way is really hard because not only do you have to worry about taking the legs out and up, you also have to worry about turning the pelvis over the shoulders. So what I always recommend is bringing your feet closer together, whether that's together or about shoulder hip width. What this does is when you go to take the legs out, it naturally turns the pelvis forward. So as the legs go out, the pelvis rotates over the shoulders on its own. Whereas when you're here, your legs are already wide, so you're, that action of tilting the pelvis over the shoulders doesn't work as well. Right? You have to do it a little bit more manually of lifting that up. So it's kind of a way to cheat core work in this straddle handstand. Um, well, I say cheat, but it's not because it's still really hard, but it's less that you have to be coordinated with as you t send the legs out, you also don't have to be coordinated enough to get that pelvis to rotate forward. So by taking the feet together, taking them wide, is, um, it gets the pelvis over. So when I'm here, right, when I'm, when I'm wide, I have to manually take that. When I bring my feet in and I go to take the legs wide, my pelvis already starts to rotate over my shoulders. Okay, so as I, you can show here, if I take my legs wide, I have to manually tilt my pelvis to get up. When I take my feet together, my pelvis, when I take my legs wide, rotates up. So I get that slight little Beyonce butt here, right, just to rotate it up and over the shoulders. Legs wide, I have to manually do this. Legs closer together. When I take the legs wide, the pelvis naturally does that. So that's the most helpful, what I've seen for a lot of people, is taking the feet closer together and then taking the legs wide allows their pelvis a little bit extra momentum, a little bit of momentum to, to rotate itself to get the hips just a little bit further. The next thing I see a lot, and I'll show it from the side here, is instead of going out and, out and up, people go back out and up. So it looks a little bit more like this versus here, legs straight out to the sides and then all the way up. So think about it with my arms here. You want it, it's like circle sweeping. You want the arms to go, the legs to go here rather than here, right? Because again, that also keeps the pelvis over the shoulders versus bringing the shoulders and the pelvis here by bringing it back. So when I'm here, my shoulders aren't, the hips aren't right over my shoulders. When I take the legs straight out, I keep my hips more here. Rather than sending the pelvis back with the legs, the pelvis kind of stays where it's at and then comes up and over the shoulders, okay? You can also, if you want to get your hips a little bit closer to over your shoulders, set your feet on blocks, right? So if you're coming from the, for a straddle handstand, right, or a straddle entry into handstand, plant your hands, take your feet right about hip width distance, come in, lean forward, and then lift up, right, instead of going back with the feet. So my quick little tips, start with the feet closer. Second tip, take the legs straight out, like you're, just like you would circle sweep the arms, right? you're circle sweeping the legs up. You're not bringing the legs back, out, and up, because that's just gonna create more work for you to have to do. Keep everything stacked, okay? Try them out, let me know what you think. Namaste.